Hello. Uh, so a while ago, I made a move, a Super Smash Brothers move set for Ze Zeke and Julie from Zombies at My Neighbors, and that was kind of fun. And I was like, what if, uh, what if this boy, Mr. Sandman from Punch Out, was in, was in Super Smash Brothers? Because I was thinking, what if more what if there was more punch out characters in smash brothers and i was hard it was hard for me to think on who to add because there's a lot of iconic smash brothers characters and well no punch out characters and some of them will just be like good for like they they'd have good moves for smash brothers uh i was like i don't know who to add like either piston hondo uh king hippo or Mr. Sandman or something. When I when I when I chose Mr. Sandman and I told this to Ryan, he was like, um actually I think a better one to put in Smash Brothers would be Super Metro Bad or Buzz Bud. And I'm like, you know what? How about you? Shut up. So I made a move set for Mr. Sandman. Now for those who are unaware of what pun uh, anything about Punch Out <coughs> Mr. Sandman is the is the world champion. Well, yeah, the world circuit champion in the Wii version. Uh, so yeah, he's like the final boss in the Wii version. He's also been the final boss in another one for the arcade. And uh, and yeah. He's 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 appeared in like all but like one or two punch out games. But yeah. So here we have Title Bout, Mr. Sandman. Oh yeah, also I was, um I was honestly kinda so Ken's in Super Smash Brothers, right? I was honestly pretty disappointed when I saw Ken <coughs> when he was added in Smash. Cause I saw Cause in his trailer, he was like, <coughs> I showed the boxing ring and it showed Little Mac, and I was like, I got so hyped because I thought they were gonna add another Punch Out character, but then I saw it was another Street Fighter character, and I was like, oh, why would you have to put him in a boxing ring to freaking debate me like that? And then, and yeah, I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Sandman. He's a big old dude, and he's gonna be, he's gonna have some moves that would be similar to Little Mac, but a lot of, like, most of them would be usually, like, unique. <laughs> now, um, he, cause of, now, since he's obviously, like, much bigger than Little Mac, he's gonna be heavier, cause he's got a, he's a big muscly man, and, uh, he's also gonna do a whole lot of damage. Because he does a whole lot of damage in the game. And as you can see right here for the uh, title defense little intro he has. This man straight breaks a freaking building to the ground out of anger. So, yeah. So he's gonna do a lot of damage. So here we have now. Let's jump right into it. Here we have his jab. It's just gonna be a one, two, three combo of his little punches. He's gonna give like two little punches, and he's gonna deliver an uppercut because uh, and um, cause he he also ha he also has like he he's he has a well known move for like uppercuts. Is this the clip? That's not it. Maybe this is it. Nope. Here it is. But that guy, like, died. So, <laughs> he lost right there. <coughs> um. Yeah. He, he had, like, a lot of the, a lot of his upward, more, like, his more upward, uh, movement attacks would have him do uppercuts. Because... He uh, he's he, he has like he he has uh, yeah, uppercuts. So his side tilt is just gonna be like one like kind of strong punch. 
Yeah. His up tilt would be uh <coughs> would be like a uppercut. Uh it's not gonna be like Mario where you can just trap somebody in a bunch of uppercuts, it's just gonna be like a big old strong boy uppercut. He's down tilt, he's just gonna do like little Mac or something and just like punch the ground. And then there's a side smash as strong punch. Let's see if I can find the clip. That's basically that. Uh... Wait, I'm, I, just, I should put my headphones on. <laughs> Heck. Where's his little punching? There it is, right there. But he dodged it, so... Anyway, he kind of like goes to the... He kind of like swerves a little bit. See, like... Right, I'm gonna do it point five. Nope. He's gonna... Yeah, basically that move right there. So that's going to be a side smash. Then there's just going to be his up smash where he delivers like one big ol' uppercut. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. And then there's and then there's a <laughs> burying thing. Then there's his down smash. His up smash is going to be cuz his, his smash attacks are going to you're going to have to be in front of him for for them to hit you. So that's something uh, cause he'll like, this is basically just like an uppercut, and this is gonna only be in front of Mr. Sandman, so if you're in front of Mr. Sandman, you're kinda, you, you, you're, you should be prepared for some hits, boy. And of course, as you saw a bunch, he had, he does this. Crap, let me just put the no speed back to normal. He goes, stand still, and then he, then he, then he pounds you dude and because he's so strong and that does like in that like if you let him hit you little Mac's gonna take a whole lot of damage since he's a strong boy I had it just bury people but not for la that long like say King K rule like with his down tilt and down throw like more like Banjo and Kazooie like how that buried like you have to get them to a pretty high percent for that berry to actually matter <laughs> Then there's his neutral B. He, uh, this is a pretty thick marker thing. Cause I actually drew it too small, so I just kind of selected it and made it and made it bigger. So yeah, okay. So he gives a wink and then boom punch, cause that's what he does in his title defense. One. Let's see here. Let me just. Let me just, let me just, see right there, he winked, and then, and then Little Mac went for a punch, but he blocked it. See, right there, he's gonna wink, and then he's gonna throw a freaking quick freaking punch. And also, if you notice, uh, that, that like, takes away, like, half your health. Maybe, like, a good third of your health. So, it's gonna be a really strong move. And I'm not sure if this guy got it right. If you, you can interrupt that move. Mm, wait. This guy interrupted the move eventually. I don't know, but if he if he's still in the middle of his wink and Little Mac punches him in the face, that'll interrupt the move, so he can't do it. <clears throat> So yeah, um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a really, it's gonna be really strong and super quick, but if you punch him during this wink, it's gonna interrupt it. So, yeah, like, Falcon Punch or whatever. Um, there's his, uh, side B, he's gonna dash forward and punch you, and, like, he's gonna, he's gonna dash forward and, like, pound you. It's kinda like Lil Mac, <coughs> but not, not exactly. Because, like, he doesn't go into the air if you're on the ground. He's going to slide across the ground. Um, but 
while Little Mac, he, like, jumps into the air and then goes. But with Mr. Sandman, he's going to slide across the ground to hit you. So then there's the... <laughs> okay, so then there's the down B. It's going to be his counter. If you don't quite understand the stance he's in, let me show you the clip. Uh, let's see here. Where's... Where's the clip? Sorry for taking so long to try to find the diddly dang clip. Do you never show it? Wait, let me see here. Ah, here it is, right there. Well, he dead. Mm. See, it's based off like that, but, um, say if you're like, sometimes he's gonna, right, wait, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Seems kinda awkward. Oh, here it is. Okay, so he has he does this move right here. He does that little stance right there. Um and he and he, and he like goes afraid and if you punch him he's going to dodge it and then he's going to go my turn and then he's going to punch you. So yeah, he's going to like little do that little swing in with the arm and he's gonna, if you try to swing at him he's going to dodge and be like my turn. Uh, up B, it's gonna be a bunch O uppercuts. He's gonna, it's not gonna be like middle, little, <laughs> middle Mac. He's not gonna be like little Mac. He's gonna throw a bunch of uppercuts. Well, little Mac's gonna punch upwards. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. But it's gonna do more damage. Like, little Mac, because if you're at like on the side of little Mac, um, in Smash Brothers, and he does up B, he will, like, he will go, like, he'll swing a punch from that way, and then he'll bring you into it, and you'll be at the top. But with Mr. Sandman, um, it's gonna do, like, it's, he won't really carry into, in, he's not gonna carry you into it, he's gonna, like, do a whole lot of uppercuts, and he, like, punches you away, kind of. <coughs> Kind of like how a uh, fo uh, fox, he just kind of goes that way in his up B. Well, no, he, he just kind of moves in his up B, and it knocks people back of it, like, yeah. And then there's Falco, and he, and if he does and if he does up B, he's, he's going to do multiple hits on you. But yeah, and he does multiple uppercuts because he can get that, so he can get that cool height. So yeah, uh... There's his grab, it's just gonna, just gonna grab you. Pummel, it's just, he's just gonna punch you. Uh. <coughs> then there's his air to aerials, uh, ne neutral A, it's neutral aerial, it's, he's just gonna do a little Mac. Up aerial, he's gonna swing upwards. Forward aerial, he's gonna swing. Back air, he's gonna put him down there. It's just Lil Mac, cause like little like sometimes Lil Mac just uses the most basic boxer moves. So yeah. Um, then there's his throws. He's gonna um for his F throw, he's gonna like this move right here. He like kind of punches downwards on you, and then you like go that way. Back throw, he's gonna, like, take you with two arm- What, what, what is going on? Scroll, okay. Back throw, he's gonna take you with, like, two arms and then, like, quickly throw you that way. It's not gonna be, like- He's not gonna swing around and then sw and then throw you. He's just gonna straight throw you that way. Uh, down throw- <laughs> Down throw, he just tosses you to the ground. Uh, and there's his up throw, where he kinda, like- <laughs> he like kind of does a little toss at you upwards and then he uppercuts you <laughs> and then there's the dash attack which is just little mac cause um 
I forgot to do the dash attack, the edge attack, and the getting back up attack. Those, you know those? Like, if you're knocked down, you can move, like, the right stick, and then you'll, like, do, like, a move. So that you're attacking while getting up. And, um... <clears throat> and if you're on the edge, you can use the right stick or whatever, so that you can get up while doing an attack. Like, from the edge onto the stage. And then there's a dash attack where you're just dashing, and then you can, like, press A, and you'll do a thing. I forgot to add those in the Zeke and Julie move set, so... Yeah, and then there's the final smash, so let's see here, Mr. Sandman, let's, let's, let's look at this part. <laughs> okay, so here he's punching poor Mr. Macho Man, and Macho Man just goes down, and he's straight asleep, dude, and he's like cheering over here, he's like that. So... Mr. Sandman's called Mr. Sandman because he like puts his opponents to sleep. So he so so you have to be like close to Mr. Sandman. He's gonna reel back, and if nobody's in his area, he you're he, you're, he's if you're like not in his area, he's not gonna do it. But if there's somebody in the area in front of him, he's going to reel back, punch somebody real hard. That's what this thing is. Uh, and they're just gonna fall asleep. I'm leaving them vulnerable for you to do, like, say, your neutral B, which is, which I said, super strong. But, if they're like, if they're like 80% or higher, it's not gonna make them fall asleep. They're just gonna, they're just gonna take knockback damage and fly. They're, it's, they're either gonna die from that final smash, or they're just gonna get sent flying and not die somehow. I, I was, I'm not sure if this is OP or not, but I don't think so. And by, if they're 80%, I don't mean, like, you have to do damage, then they get into the 80% damage. You, they, if they have to be at, like, 80 or above for them to be flying at the beginning of the final smash. And then there's the diddly dang taunts right here. There's there's the up taunt where he puts his fists on his hand on his body and he starts laughing like uh this uh frick. Is there a part where he gets knocked out? Oh no, that's not it. Oh wait. Here's uh <laughs> wait. See right there, he's he's laughing. He's laughing right there. So yeah. And then there's this part where, you know how he was like mimicking like, Hi, you're, you're asleep now, like... Yeah, bedtime! And he did, he like mimicked him being asleep. That's what his side taunt's gonna be, and his up taunt's gonna be like a laugh. Then there's his down taunt where he does the little swinging of the arm, and he's like, You scared? But, you know, in the... There's there's the contender where he just looks his default and then there's title defense where he looks kind of scary and he is so and and uh <clears throat> and in this version whenever it like in title defense whenever he does that move he doesn't say scared or you scared or whatever he goes dreamland or something he says it here Yeah. So, for his down taunts, he's either going to be like, You scared, but if you have uh, the alternate skin where he's going to be uh, title defense, he's going to go dreamland. <laughs> so, yeah, because, like, of course, if you're going to have alternate skins, you're going to have either... For Mr. Sandman, you're going to have to obviously have the default version and the title defense version because it's basics. <laughs> <coughs> Also, I had an idea for, like, two, uh, victory animations, um, uh, for one, if he won, there, it would play, like, kind of like this.
But of course, it'll be much more quicker than that, cause like it's per that's not that's too long to be a victory animation for Smash. So, so the referee is just gonna struggle with his arm a little bit, and then he's gonna raise his arm, and yeah, and then uh for another one. For this one, if he wins, he's gonna he's gonna turn around and he's gonna start laughing. And I thought a, and I thought a good thing for his victory theme would be like this. Wait, let me let me see. Heck. No. Okay, it'd be it'd it'd be these last seconds of the little intro theme. It'd be those parts. So, yeah. Uh, dang, twenty one minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> so, <coughs> yeah, that was my move set for Mr. Sandman. Uh, final boss of the Wii version and one of the arcade versions, but I forgot which arcade version of Punch-Out. So yeah, Sakurai, please take notes. <laughs> I don't know. Bye.